Hello, good evening, welcome to the Excel spreadsheet called Capital Structure. It's a finance spreadsheet and it calculates the market values and book values and returning total capitals and equity. And also there's a sheet called Weighted Average Cost of Capital, which is the next sheet. But I'm going to be starting this sheet and it's called Exhibit 1. So, as you see, there is some details filled in already, which are none function sum tables. So I'll now start my force function sum table on calculating the interest and then go on to calculate the profit before taxes. Okay, now here we go. Down. There's nothing so far. Okay, let's go and calculate the profits before taxes. Okay, taxes is the next sum function table to calculate. Now the next sum function table is to calculate the profit to be after taxes. Okay, dividends is the next section. Dividends counts as the sum function of profit after taxes, so it matches to the same number together. Okay, total payments to security holders is the next sum function table to calculate. So profit before taxes plus dividends. As actions. Okay, now next we're going on to calculate the market value of debt. Yeah, market value equity will be the next step to calculate. Dividends divided by required return on equity. Okay, market value of the firm is the next section. That'll be a plus. So item B17 on B18, which is market value of debt and market value of equity. Okay, next we're going to calculate the book value of debt. Okay, my book value of equity will be the, ne the next step. So, this is how to calculate the equity of book value. Okay, 
You have this time it's minus five thousand. Book value of the firm. Okay, now go and calculate the number return on total capital. Zero percent return on equity is the next the next step. Okay, no more shares outstanding is the next step. Price pressure is the next summer. Okay, earnings per share is going to be the next step. Speed so 10 is profit after taxes, divided by number of shares outstanding. Do will uh, some table and then I'll continue the next video finishing off the rest of the sum function tables and then move on to the, the next sheet of the old average cost of capital. Wait, it's average cost of capital, sorry. Okay, let's go and check the price earnings ratio. Okay, that's it. So that's it for now. So hope you all have a safe, safe afternoon. Wash your hands, stay safe, and have a good, have a good, pleasant day. Adios.